Okay, so it's been a while since I've had time to upload a video, but I want to show you guys what I have been doing. I've been working on the Solon one project. And uh, these are the Solon one eights. This is the build station area for the Solon one eights. So we build those up here. And uh, you can see this one's ready to ship out. And uh, thanks for all the great support guys on these. These have been selling very well and they've been very well received and I'm getting great input from everybody on them. So far the only change we've had to make on the Solon 18s is we've gone to this uh, different Velcro. People are having a hard time uh, applying the power bank with the dual lock Velcro. So we've gone to this Velcro. It looks like a traditional hook and loop Velcro. The only difference is this Velcro is designed for high heat applications. So that seemed to be a really good choice in this case. And if anybody that bought a Solon 1A has any issue with the Velcro, just drop me an email, info at Tesla Maker, and we'll get your uh, Velcro upgraded to this uh, new stuff if you have any issues. So yeah, that's where we build up the Solon 1.8s. Over here we have a build uh, station area going for the uh, Tesla torches, and uh, we are going to get those up again shortly. You can see there's one here that's almost built. But the majority of my time has been going into the Solon 1 25 units. And uh, I am very happy to announce that we have the first uh, unit right here ready to go. This is a kit unit, and I'll go over what that means. In this case, the kit is completely ready to go. All you're going to have to do is connect the batteries and slide them down the tubes. And I'll go over that in this video in just a second. Uh, before we do that, I want to give an update on the smaller units and also what we have going on here. I'm pretty excited about this. This 3D printer is being powered by the Solon 1 uh, 25 back here and printing parts for another Solon 1 25. I just thought that was so cool. I just set this up to test uh, the 3D printer on the Solon 1 uh, 25 and see how it works. It works fine. It pulls about 100 watts and uh, that's, that's no problem for there. That would run this printer for approximately two hours. So pretty cool. This will give me the ability to go on site to areas that have uh, no grid power and 3D print, which I can actually use in my uh, work. On my day job, I've needed to 3D print on site before. So that's a great application for the Solon, Solon 125. Coming over here to the Solon 1.8, um, this is just, you've seen this in the previous videos. In this case, it's charging my GoPro, my iPhone, and powering these two USB light bulbs all at once. So. Again, the Solon 1.8s, people just seem to really like these. They've been very well received, and again, I want to thank you for your support. We've had a lot of requests for a Solon 1.5, a 5 watt unit, smaller than the Solon 1.8. And uh, a guy bought one of these here from me a while ago. He gave it to his wife, and I guess she carries it around on her purse, you know, just clipped on her purse, keeps her phone charged up all the time. So I'm going to try to target this at under 50 bucks. and. Uh, you can see here it's got the uh, little power bank. It does support pass-through charging. So you could have this plugged into your iPhone, hanging on your backpack, purse, whatever. It will charge the power bank as well as the iPhone. And it'll also run one of these USB light bulbs for about two hours. Uh, so anyway, this one's in development. And yeah, let's get on here to the Solon 125. Okay, so when you order a Solon 125 kit, you get everything assembled except for the battery parts. And that's just a few parts. I'll go, go over a quick overview of that in this video. If you wanna see the complete assembly process video, you'll need to look in the video description for the video to that. But you've got these uh, six screws. These allow you to connect the battery pack end to end in series. And then you have six spacers and an Allen wrench. The only thing you'll need to provide on your end is a little bit of a sticky tape. And that's just to hold the spacers in place as you slide the uh, battery pack down the tube. You've got your manuals for the inverter for the solar charge controller. And then, of course, over here, all the wiring is done. The fuses are connected. Everything's configured correctly. So that all you have to do is assemble your battery pack, slide it down the tube, and plug this unit in. And then we have two zip ties here to hold down the loose wiring so that everything is clean and uh, set up correctly. We have a note here to unplug for long-term storage. And of course, please feed me sunshine often. If you want to keep your Solon 125 happy, feed it sunshine often. <laughs> so that's it, folks. That is the Solon 125 kit. These kits right now are going to be selling without the batteries. Um, the complete ready-to-go units will ship with the batteries completely assembled and ready to go. That's our next step. We're going to move on to that from here. But for those that want to get started early, you can order the kit, and then you can order the batteries from Headway Headquarters, and they'll ship to you like this. 
You can either order four batteries if you want to build up a 10 amp hour unit, or eight batteries if you want to go for the whole 20 amp hour unit. If you do order four batteries, you would just be sliding a pack down one side of the tube, and that would give you half the capacity, but it'd be a lighter weight unit, it would charge faster, and have a cheaper uh, price, initial price. You could always upgrade it later with a second battery pack, or you can order all eight initially. It's really up to you. So ordering the kit gives you the ability to make your decisions on that. It also gives us the ability to start shipping this right away because there's a lot of issues. We have to get online training and proper labeling, like you see here, for shipping lithium batteries. Even though these are lithium iron batteries, they fall under the same shipping category as any other lithium battery. That also provides issues when it comes to shipping these overseas. So this kit option will be a great option to order overseas and buy the batteries uh, wherever you source them on your side because you'll probably get a cheaper, better deal anyway than ordering and shipping these batteries from the US. These things are just a pain to ship. So I spent a lot of time developing a design that would have everything assembled except for really just you know, using this Allen wrench to bolt on your uh, battery terminal connections, slide the batteries into place, zip tie, and you're ready to go. So, okay, so I just finished the how to assemble video for the Solon 125. It's going to be on the Tesla Maker YouTube channel as well as uh, teslamaker.com on the website under the Solon 125 uh, kit. But go ahead and check that video out. Uh, now that the video is finished, while making the video, I noticed that the 3D print finished. So, that's great, we've got that thing uh, finished up. The little Solon 1.5 is uh, still running the light bulb here. And over here on the Solon 1.8, it looks to me like my phone is now 100% charged, as well as the fact we've been running these uh, two lights the whole time. And we are down one bar on the power bank. So we have not in any way used up the capacity of this power bank, uh, charging my phone, charging my GoPro, and powering these two lights for the entire uh, duration of making the uh, Solon 125 kit video. So that kind of shows you how this stuff works. Um, very, very happy to see that it finished the 3D print. This is the, the first 3D printed parts um, off of Solon 125. So cool stuff. Let's all keep experimenting. We will talk later. See ya.